Okay. okay, and here we start with our interviews with the users of uh, the Arduino and the community that we've got here in Dubai. And we are going to speak with Vishweshwar of GEMS Modern Academy. And this is a student that has already made very interesting designs with Arduino. But let's hear from him how he started with Arduino. Hi, um, I initially started with Arduino uh, for a very personal cause. My grandfather's friend, who was a visually impaired person, found it difficult to navigate through obstacles. So I wanted to create a wearable gadget that would detect obstacles and alert her. So that's when I came across an Arduino board, which uh, served the very purpose of being uh, small, satisfying the purpose of um, uh, detecting obstacles and alerting the user. And it mainly made the gadget wearable. So here I have got the gadget. This is an Arduino Nano board uh, connected to an ultrasonic sensor and along with the buzzer that is being um, packed in an acrylic case. It's wearable. This is what I started with. Now, after finding through users that uh, buzzer was really uh, uncomfortable for them because it, uh, it, because it helped. Uh, it, it made other people, their surroundings also know that they were using such a gadget. I shifted to uh, a pager motor, you know, vibration based uh, alerting systems. So that's, that's how I discovered Arduino and got to uh, use that in my project. Okay, so basically what you did is you also were looking onto the internet to find out the inspiration and you probably found out that this issue your, friends, uh, your grandfather friend had is quite a common issue but i see that what you did is you took the basic design and you did some kind of co-design with the final user asking would you like a beeper or would you like something more discreet and the outcome was changing the design into something that was more discreet so i think that you also have that board with the vibration stuff to show us can you show it to us um yeah so next project that i did was for no, well, uh, sorry i'm saying you have also the version with the vibrator of the um, yeah, so you, you, you can see that this yeah, is exactly. the I one with that. the radio motor. Yes. Okay. So uh, we, have, um, we have the nano board over here and that's the ultrasonic sensor and here's the pager motor. This is the modification that I made. I'm planning to pack the same circuit in a similar acrylic case you know, with a bit more style and stuff to it and distribute it to um, actual persons. Okay, so that was the start, but you have also something much more sophisticated to show us as a design. Please. Yeah, so I was very, I was very excited to show that initially, and uh, uh, that, that's when this popped out, that uh, this is OMM, Oscillation Motivated Movement. Again, a wearable gadget for arthritis-affected patients. Um, I used the concept of, uh, you know, uh, pain easing with the help of vibrations. So this gadget is uh, nothing more than a massager essentially that uses Arduino and HC06 Bluetooth chip. Uh, and it's wearable, it, but the main uh, twist or, you know, the, um, um, the difference, selling the, point. Add, yeah, the value added, yeah, value added feature. Uh, yeah, so the selling point of this uh, gadget lies in the application that I use. It connects to the uh, user's gadget and tracks the usage history and also connects the user uh, to doctors who can help them uh, progress uh, medically in a scientific manner. Well, so basically because you're tracking the usage of the device and also you're tracking the benefit on the patient, a doctor is capable of understanding if a particular way of vibrating the device, uh, the frequency, the time in between every treatment can make a difference. So what you're doing is you're basically supplying doctors the outcome of a more or less a research because you are letting the device become a research tool. So you're not just helping your final user with that massage machine, but you're also providing to the doctors information that will help them to say, well, this is not just a device for this case, but we have found out out of many users that the effects are those ones. So basically what you've done to me is a very uh, mind opening approach to the problem because you were not just trying to solve one issue, you were trying to create a device that has a purpose in general terms. So this to me is very much the spirit of making and doing open source stuff. You benefited from other works people, uh, from other people's work with the uh, Ultra something. But I think that if you share that project with the community, the community will be very happy. 
to be part of this project, supply to doctors also what they found with their patients. And so to me, this is very nice. Thank you very much. I think that GEM Modern uh, um, Academy has a very talented student. And I thank you, you and your teachers for the time you gave us. Thank you very much. Thank you so much.